YouTube, what is up guys? Wait until you see what yo-yo I'm playing with right here. And you will be just as excited as me. So this is a titanium version of the Sunbird yo-yo from Yo-Yo Friends. So I got this in the mail today. Came in this really sick box. It's a total prototype. Um, and even just in the sleek box, I knew this thing was going to be absolutely incredible. So if you're followed my channel for a while, you know I'm a huge fan of Yo-Yo Friends. I think they've never made a product that was like any less than spectacular. So they they had the Peregrine bimetal, they got the Hummingbird bimetal, which was like their first competition throw. They kind of put them on the map. Um, they got their Monometal Sunbird. And then today we got the Titanium prototype of their newest release that will be coming out. The Titanium Sunbird. Now this, uh, it's basically very, very close to the same specs though. Uh, on the side here, you'll notice there's not quite as much mass and it is just a hair wider. So we'll put the specs on the screen um, and I'll put all the info down below, you know, to kind of, you know, for Yo-Yo Friends, Instagram, all that good stuff. Um, any other specs that I leave out or forget or they also, I just add them there too as well. Okay, so first things first, let's get right into this Yo-Yo. Well, first off, it's titanium. So when it hits your hand or you bang into it, you get that amazing ching. Just oh, sounds so nice. Uh, also, too, the raw finish on titanium is so shiny and beautiful looking. Like to me, uh, a raw finish on aluminum yo yo doesn't look anywhere near as nice <laughs> as a titanium yo yo. Uh, because it is the raw finish, it's not the best for grinds, but obviously, you'll still be able to do them, uh, especially if you have a glove on and stuff. It's got, you know, all the same characteristics as the other one. So it'll be good at finger sprints, um, good at thumb grinds, all that, you know, all that jazz. And I'm not sure if the production model will be blasted, if it would just be polished like this, what. I know on his Instagram, he put a thing, like a poll, asking if you guys wanted one blasted or polished or whatever. So I don't know. I don't know what they're doing with it. But either way, with this one I got right here, phenomenal. Absolutely incredible. Oops. Yeah, I love that sound that it makes when the string hits it, too. Oh, got stuck on my hat. Very forgiving area too. In response, feels awesome. Yeah, so I think the production, they might slim the gap a little. Me personally, I like this one. I'm using zipline thicks, so with the zipline thicks, it seems to work really good. Yeah, so nice. Also, too, this yo-yo is quite quiet. Like, uh, and just the, how smooth it is and the way the light reflects off of it, it almost looks like it's not even spinning when it's spinning. It's really, really like almost mesmerizing. So I believe this is the fourth titanium yo-yo I've had the honor of checking out on my channel. And, uh... I'm just going to say, this is the best one. I think the last year, Titanium I ever reviewed, I said that was the best one I've checked out. This thing is even better. I mean, I mean, it's made by Yo-Yo Friends, so you knew it was going to be good. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, guess maybe I'm a little biased, just because I've enjoyed so many of their other products. And um, this is very similar to their other products, just made out of higher quality materials and such. Oops. Yeah. Just my string tension here. Yeah, but it, it feels absolutely amazing. Uh, if you've never played with a titanium yo-yo, uh, it's really hard to explain d just the differences it is. So titanium, if you didn't know, is a stronger metal than like, it's stronger than steel, it's stronger than aluminum, but it's actually, it's, it's much stronger, but it's lighter than steel. So it's like a little heavier than aluminum, but it's lighter than lighter than steel, even though it's more much much more durable. Like if you hit this on the ground, on concrete, it would make a spark. Um, I actually have a video where I use a, t a, a, a titanium ting, and I start some gasoline on fire <laughs> by creating a spark. So you can do that with titanium. Um, I don't recommend doing it to a yo-yo as nice as this. Also, the thing you could anodize it. Lots of cool stuff you can do with titanium. But just the overall weight feels like the way they were able to get it still feeling nice and rim weighted, but not having to put such a big ring right there. Um, I believe if they did have it as wide as it is on the original Sunbird, 
it would be too heavy. Like you have to change the properties a little bit. And I think they did a great job at you making it out of a different material and changing it just enough where it does still feel like the Sunbird, but um, you know, it's got that more aggressive spin. It just, I don't know, it just feels nicer overall uh, in your hand. Um, you know, it's like, uh, it's like if your buddy let you borrow his Ferrari, but you're used to driving, you know, a Honda Civic, you know, you'd be like, well, they both get me to the store, but this one's much nicer. It's kind of how it feels with this thing. Like, um, absolutely, whoops, absolutely incredible feeling. Yeah, so I don't know if the production, I think the production is going to tighten up the gap just a little bit. Um, so for those of you that like thin string and stuff, um, you know, I think more people use thin string nowadays than thick string. Uh, but me personally, this one feels good regardless. I mean, my pro model, the high diggity has a wider gap, so I'm probably just used to that because I, I like wide, I like thick strings. So when I was designing my yo-yo, I wanted it to be for that. But this one feels amazing. I mean, if you made the gap slightly either way, I don't think it would change that much. Um, but yeah, it feels really, really good. Um, just overall, really fast playing, elegant yo-yo. But more than anything, I just love the way like it sounds when the yo-yo is like, like when the string's hitting off of it, when you bind, um, when it whacks in your hand, it just feels like nice and rewarding. And uh, normally I do in these videos like to play some 5A uh, with titanium yo-yos, but I don't even want to, I, I, I like this thing so much, I don't even want to risk dropping it on the hardwood floor, nothing. Like, this is incredible. Um, the only thing I can say, like, is if you um, can't justify spending that much on a titanium yo-yo, because titanium, if you didn't know, is way more expensive than aluminum or steel, and it costs way more to manufacture. So, I don't know off the top of my head what the price is going to be, but it's going to be more than $50, I'll tell you that. So, you know, it's going to be a couple hundred, probably. But I think this... Is one of those yo-yos that be actually be worth it? I think there is some titanium yo-yos that you can't really justify paying that much for a yo-yo. But with this one, I mean, this is one of the best yo-yos I've ever played with. I honestly think the Peregrine was probably my favorite yo-yo all last year I reviewed. Uh, and my nephew dropped it, not vibes. Uh, so he just like, little nephew, like little, he took it off the table and just dropped it. And I was like, oh man, on the concrete, not vibes a little. But I mean, I have never not liked anything. But yeah, this was probably my favorite yo-yo that came out all last year, the Peregrine. And now that I got a metal version of, you know, the <laughs> the Sunbird, which is very similar, um, I'm super, super happy. Um, finger spins, you can definitely do them. It's got all the same finger spin groove and everything. I'm not going to do it right now because um, I, I, if you don't know, I have a neck issue in this finger. I got no feeling in it and I chew my nails. So I'm not even going to, not even going to try to do it and mess up my camera. But you can do them if you like finger spins. Um, obviously thumb grinds, all that good stuff. Just regular grinds in general, even though it's polished, uh, they still work fine. It's just not quite as like a blasted yo-yo would feel. But yeah, if you're looking for a titanium yo-yo, or if you're a friend, uh, fan of yo-yo friends, do not miss this. Uh, all the info will be down below. Huge honor to get to check this out on my channel. Absolutely stunning, breathtaking. When I first opened it, I was like, holy crap. I'm gonna like this. And uh, basically, as soon as I started throwing it, yeah. I knew this was like a yo-yo that I couldn't beat around the bush. It's it's awesome. It's freaking incredible. Uh, there's nothing really bad to say about it. Um, if I played with it, you know, for hours on end, I probably would not be able to think of one thing I did not like about it. So thank you guys for watching. Um, thank you so much, yo-yo friends, for letting me check this out on my channel. Um, you know, just have the honor of getting to check out your stuff usually before anybody else. Uh, it means a lot to me, especially from a company making as good stuff as you guys. So thank you guys for watching. I'll uh, talk to you later. Hit me up in the comments. Uh, you know, that's what I like to do. And peace out.